But yeah, there are two things that I've I've noticed that uh, people on YouTube love. When a big priest is miserable, Consider. check. When Yog Saron Hope's End is played, check. So like, what more could you ask for in a single game of Hearthstone? Watch this. I was actually just about to make a Teddy comment, so you're well timed. He gets really excited when it's time to go out. So he sits because he knows he needs to sit in order to get his collar put on or his leash strapped on. But then he's so excited like he's like circling you while he's trying to uh, get ready to go and it's just really not helpful at all. Like so I'm just watching him walk around in circles trying to... There we go. Okay. He sorted it out. But it's pretty funny. I mean not when I'm like in a hurry and actually need to get going but... It's funny when I'm not the one it's happening to. A lot of dumb cards in beta. Yeah, I came in... Um, I feel like it was after Christmas or around Christmas time that year. My, I know my brother turned me on to it um, during Thanksgiving of, I guess it was 2014, maybe? Um, and I immediately signed up for the beta, and I got a pretty quick... Um, I got a pretty quick beta, beta invite, which was fortunate for me, and I've been playing pretty much ever since. I mean, that's kind of the point of a of a beta, beta, right? Is that um, we're ironing some of those things out. Yep, that's not. Um, it is not Barnes. And I do have hexes in this deck as well as devolve, so like. Barnes doesn't end us. And we've got a fair amount of our combo already. I just need to, like, avoid awfulness for a few turns. Okay. Ooh, that's a well-timed hex. Thank you. So his turn is likely coin... Uh, Shadow Essence if he has it. Although he might be hesitant to with the, the width of the board at the moment. So we might have a turn to like play the Farsight. Nope. Coin Essence. To be honest with you, chat, there are a lot of minions that concern me in Big Priest. This is not one of them. So I'm going to go ahead and let that live. I have the capacity to trade into it. I would much rather just cycle some cards for a turn. Volcano is helpful when he starts summoning more of these, but like four damage, I can just heal through with the uh, with the refreshment vendors once I start going infinite. So I'm gonna save the uh, the hex for a higher value um, minion, like a Ragnaros, like a Lich King, like a Yashira. Something that I don't actually want coming back. Like, if he just starts resurrecting this, have a blast, buddy. Um, I mean, I can devolve and then kill him. Maybe I don't even want to devolve it. That's a problem. Get the barns. Oh! Ho, 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 ho. Okay. Now we're talking. Oh, Frogo. Um, so this is 10, 15. That means Volcano is a full clear, so we can Volcano into Doppel. Could also just play this. Uh, that seems worse. What I can do is play the uh, the knowledge next turn, uh, pair it with the lava shock, and that might feel a lot better. And once again, I just don't care about that, and I just have the capacity to deal with it on board again. He's used 
two eternal servitudes so like the only the only resurrect effect that matters anymore is spellstone and he hasn't he doesn't have a ragnaros in there like this is he, he's going to have a very very poor res pool by the time spellstone is relevant um he does have double resurrect but that's kind of a liability at this point right he's got barns he's got um two frogs in there now and at best he's getting statues so i'm just i'm in a good spot here I'm going to freeze this. Because I actually want to grumble next turn. So I'm just going to pass. I might use this next turn just to empty a card. That's fine. I mean, yeah, I would have liked to have grumbled. I maybe should have killed that when I had the chance, but like the upside of the uh, the grumble was pretty was pretty good there. I don't think I want a hero power for the pretty much the rest of this game. Yikes. Um, so, devolve, reassess. I don't want that in his res pool. Oh my god, this is amazing, chat. I kind of want to leave the um, this thing on the board for another turn, <laughs> and uh, yeah. Oh no, we took two damage from the leper gnome. <laughs> uh, we've got plenty of healing, and uh, we should just be good here. So I've hit the relevant parts of the combo, right? I've got the doppels, I've got the um, I've got the grumble in there. It might be nice to have a Zola just for like safety's sake, but. Um, I mean, I guess Lotheb is also potentially beneficial. Oh man, we're just going to give him so many Leper Gnomes. So that's uh, 6, 10, 11, 12, and then, you know what, I think I would rather use the, um, this. Alright. Gotta feel like he uh, is not too happy about how things are shaping out right now. Again, Spellstones are his only real threat here. He's used both Eternal Servitudes. Uh, Ragnaros is also a bit of a problem. Does each Leper Gnome count towards the Res Pools or just once? That hasn't been confirmed, I don't think, but I believe that it's the case. Like, I think it makes it more likely that he gets a Leper Gnome or something, uh, something bad. Okay, so we don't have the Yogg in there yet, but like we can just start making one mana Shutterwalks. Um, no, let's get the Lothab going. Empty this from hand. Uh, Lothab is important in this matchup. It blocks a lot of what our opponent wants to do. And then, worst case scenario, we like... We Shutter a, uh, a Lothab back. Was that Hex? I mean... Nah, this is probably better. Because I'm guaranteed to be able to play the uh, the Lothab back, right? And that's also great timing. Ooh, that's helpful. Uh, I'm just gonna play out the Lothab here. Just because Lothab is resistant to uh, Death and Decay, although he can't exactly play the uh, the Death and Decay no matter what I do. Uh, but I like hanging on to these one mana Shutterwalks for like once I get the Yogg Zerong going. I wonder. It's entirely possible we still lose this game, right? Just because, 
Just because Yogg can do Yogg things. Let's see what we get off of this. <laughs> Alright, we've got a secondary win condition. I don't want to play the uh, the portal because it uh just because it fills my board. I, must decide. I think I want to get these spells out of hand. Then go ahead and play these. Alright. It'd be nice if I drew into the AUG here pretty quick. Although I'm filling my hand. Oh no, that's a huge mistake. Okay. I didn't think that through. Alright, don't burn the AUG. Because Yogg's the only way we can lose this game, and uh, who doesn't want to lose games of Hearthstone? Burn the... Ooh, Ooh somebody's asking for a ban. Burn the Yogg. I mean, it's what I deserve. Oof, okay. So, let's not do anything silly anymore. Just get these cards out of hand. That's not helpful. Well, we can't burn the Yogg if we draw the Yogg, right? Why aren't either of those Yogg? Okay. Don't concede. He's got to have a Psychic Scream here, right? I've got two cards left. I've got a Hex for Ragnaros. There's the Scream. Perfect. He's probably thinking to himself, Well, this dummy doesn't even have a way to end this game. There's no win condition here. <laughs> Joke's on you, Flamingo. I've got the greatest win condition of all. The problem with that Psychic Scream is that um, it makes it so I'm less likely to draw Yogg now. It also puts, like, cards in my hand. Uh, ugh. Like, I need a playable spell. There we go. This Hagatha is becoming a problem. But, like, I'm not going to get beat down by a 6-3, right? And I'm not going to use a Volcano on not a Spellstone board. Camellios could be interesting when, once I redraw it. Yeah. Yes! Okay. Don't do it, Yogg. Just don't do anything stupid. Okay, that's a good start. It's a, a little bit redundant. Oh, we're just gonna kill him. Ooh. All right. There we go. I could have gone a lot worse. And now we just have infinite yogs. We've got one, two, three, four, four one mana yogs, and um, and a nine mana yog. I kind of feel like going like just all in on this uh, unstable evolution for a turn though, because that's gonna juice my yogs even further, right? Like that's gonna make these. Um, we're at 19 right now, that makes it a 29 spell Yogg. Unless our opponent just realizes that uh, the God of Death is too powerful and he's uh, opted to just give up. Nope. In a psychic screen. Well, I wanted those minions though. Like, how am I gonna unstable evolution now? Alright. Yes, we're doing it. Yogg. Oh, that would have been so good. OK, 
Okay. Um, let's actually just do this, right? Oh, well, hey. You know, that's not so bad. Alright, I'm just gonna get these cards out of hand and play some more spells. You two people love Yogg? Everybody loves Yogg! Oh, man. This game is out of control. We're gonna fatigue our opponent because he keeps screaming our shutter. We still have uh, two Shutterwalks and a Yogg Saron Hope's End left in our deck, as well as a couple of Wisps. So, like, my dream is that this just goes to fatigue because uh, that means we get to play more Yoggs. Well, why are you? How are you gonna silence a Sneed's old Shredder? What kind of, uh, what kind of unfun opponent are we playing against? Eh? Start with the Shutterwalk. Yog first. I like that. Whoa. Not Huffer. Okay. Alright, this is getting silly. Stop drawing. No, I don't want to draw cards. Oh my god. Oh, we dead manced. Oh my god. Hey, get me out. Thank you for that, host. Hope you had a good stream. You came at a fantastic time. We have just... Begun going infinite with uh, Shutterwalk Yog Shaman, and um, yeah, apparently opponent just said, "No, that's way too powerful." 